Hello everybody, Rhino and Greg Craig here. And we are at Deluxe Burger at Disney Springs today for a very special burger that has been re released called the Hakuna Matata Burger. And honestly, I think it looks disgusting. Yeah, I don't really have opinions on it. I mean, it's not about what it looks like, it's about what it tastes like. Well, it's got that, it's supposed to have like fried mozzarella on it. I'm okay with that. But then there's like, all the vegetables on it are supposed to be made into like gummy versions of like, you know, there's like a spider, a, a worm and all that sort of stuff. So yeah. we'll see, we'll see. But we're here for that. It's a million degrees outside. So we're just gonna dive right in and get this. We have our Grub Burger here, not the Hakuna Matata Burger, like we said in the intro, the Grub Burger, which uh, some may say is slimy yet satisfying, but I'm not gonna put, I'm not gonna, given to that kind of trope here. But what is it? Well, it is a signature blend patty with gummy tomato worms, basil grasshopper, uh, balsamic vinegar spiders, fresh tomato salad, and fried mozzarella. And it will be here through July 16th in celebration of The Lion King. The re-release, I wanna say, not. So it's here until the movie comes out? Yes. <laughs> You know what? Nothing like marketing something until the movie comes out and then saying, nope, we're pulling it away. Yeah. Right when you're in the most excited part of it. So, I mean, the thing is, oh, lost oh, the gun. Worm. The thing is massive. Like, this is a big burger. It's been a while since I've had one of these here. So, $13.49, just on spec of like how big it is, it does look to be uh, a worthwhile sandwich to get. No, with no, 13.49 with no discount, right? Yeah, no discount. It is juicy, drippy, drippy, cheesy, gummy, but I guess I'm just like describing what it looks like. Let me actually eat it here. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, drippy, drippy is definitely the word there. So it's really tasty, actually. I'm gonna be honest, the first bite in, if you ask me what is the predominant flavor popping out here, I couldn't actually tell you. Uh, that's not a bad thing. Let me get one more bite in here. Let me eat one of these vinegar gummies too. Okay, that's what I was missing from my first bite. Did you get a worm? Yeah, I have a worm on there, so. I get what they're going for now. It's like, uh, once you add in the basil, uh, the basil grasshopper too, it's a caprese burger, essentially, with fried mozzarella instead of just regular mozzarella on there. And, you know, when you get all those pieces together, I think it really succeeds, but just by itself, it's a, tasty burger. I mean, all their burgers here just by themselves, the patties are, are really, really just well made. So, uh, and it's, you know, typically I like a burger cooked around medium. This one is definitely, uh, it's, it's pretty much well, but it's not dried out on the inside as you saw all the juice falling out. Definitely not dry, but uh, a nice, nice balance of textures with the crunchy lettuce and then I, I like the fried mozzarella on top too because that adds an extra little crunch before you get the, the creamy smoothness of it. So I'm actually impressed. So Rhino, I'll let you try it. See what you think. Maybe maybe you won't like it as much as me. You hate textures. I am a big texture person. And so the idea of these gummies, though I do think I like the novelty idea of it, I am concerned that the fried crunchy with the squishy definitely slimy. Oh, I just broke my little worm off. It's gonna throw me off here, so. I don't really think I got the gummy aspect of it so much, except for when I ate it by itself, and then I got it, but. I mean, the, it's like what you said, the burger is well done, but it, it does have a lot of that juice in it still. I'm, that crispy, salty part of the coating from the fried mozzarella is really good. I didn't get a lot of the gummy in that first one. I mean, I'm going in. I got the grasshopper right in the middle here. I think, did I just hear a squirt mm -hmm. out of that? Mm -hmm. It sounded like I heard a squirt. Okay, you're right. The You don't really get that gummy flavor, even though I'm, I'm holding it and it is a pretty firm gummy. Like, when you chew it, it actually crumbles like 
like tomatoes. Like a tomato, yeah. so that's interesting. That So like, it's more of an appearances thing. And even though I touched it, I was like, oh. So when you bite it, it's not gonna have that. I thought it was gonna be like gummy bear consistency on here. Mm. No, the bun, I like the bun, the burger, the fried cheese with these gummies. Like, I came in thinking this was gonna be disgusting and I am very pleasantly surprised right now. So, let me stuff my face a little bit more and then we'll talk about it again. Okay, we're done with our burger at Deluxe Burger, the Grub Burger. Mm -hmm. I, surprised, I was genuinely surprised. I enjoyed it. Yep, I don't know if they've done like a take on a Caprese burger here before in the past. Uh, I, don't, I don't pay attention to it all the time, but uh, if they haven't, then I think they should just bring this back regularly, even if it's not with the grubs and stuff, but you know, just, just as it is. Tomato because basil, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the fried mozzarella. I really I really enjoyed it. I thought it was yeah. I thought it was tasty. It's a yeah. it's a shame that it has to go away on July sixteenth. So you have very limited the time week to of get the it. movies release. So yeah. I, I mean yeah, I enjoyed it. I thought it was tasty, um a little pricey, obviously, but Everything I thought it deluxe is so. Yeah, I was gonna say that's kind of this general thing. But I feel like it was quality ingredients. Yeah. So um, so if you've tried it, let us know what your thoughts are, what your favorite food here is at Deluxe Burger, or if there's another weird item like this that you've seen around town, and by town I mean Disney World, that you want us to go check out. So leave that in the comments below, but we'll see you later uh, next time with another video. Terrible outro. Bye.